up here, we are working with the Tornos. This is electric uh, machine, but normally this use the uh, old Aborigines and since many thousand years, no? The before ones were made by uh, rocks. They were moving it with the, with the feet, and someone was turning it and the other one was working it. With this machine, normally we can do like uh, glasses or cups or any kind of uh, equal round stuff. We should put the argilla in the center and we should make it as more perfect and roundy possible and should be in the very, very center of the machine. One of our hands, normally the ones that you are stronger and you have more ability, or in my case, the left. We keep to make it stable and to keep it in place and with the other one, we will work in it. Start to manipulate that little. Now on this down part we will take it when it gets uh, a bit more dry, we, we make the final work. So, this work here, I made uh, the mask with clay, uh, but with the Tibetan technique, so there is a cotton inside, but it was smashed. So it doesn't crack. So as you can see, it's the part that did not crack because they were like very thin is still perfect. And from this, I made a, a mold of it. Okay. Ah. Wow. It's a different technique. So from this, we made this. So this is the shape. And with this, now I'm trying to create the negative of this. So there is all these kind of puzzles building this stuff. I don't know. This, I call it puzzle because, I mean, you really need time, so it didn't have enough. So from this, I made the mold with the silicon. We make the box with plaster. So we have the perfect place where to put this because this is soft, so it moves if we don't have a specific place where to put it. After this has its own place, we pour plaster. This is kind of a mix between Tibetan and uh, European, or my own way of to see it. So this is the first step with the object in clay, and uh, we try to do a base of other clays to do the mold. We use the other clays to do like a distance from the from the wood. And then we put the object, and then we put over the gibbs, and this is the final mold. You can see. This is positive of this. This is the finishing uh, mold. It's three-dimensional, so we have three different uh, parts that are made to put it together. As you can see, this is empty. We have to close it like this. When you have the mold and you have the clay, you just fill the mold and then leave it. And then you have to empty all the mold and leave it for maybe one day and this is totally finished. It's already cooked two times. First time with the, just the clay and then with the smalt. And here there is another mold. Uh, this is the negative and this is the positive. This is finished. It was cooked two times. It's astrology. You can use it to put on the door. It eliminates all the negatives that try to enter in the house. And this is, Tanita already showed it, it's made in the same way, to do a base of gibbs and then to like put it like this, then the gibbs uh, start to get harder and then you just take out the first positive. So now it's the time to make this mount. 
the smut comes in a kind of powder and we mix it with water. Uh, we should mix it really well because otherwise uh, if it gets any kind of impure stuff in, into the smut, it will get in the piece. And after we should pass through the filter. Um, that's, this one is already filtered. We take the piece and we just go down. We just leave it. Once we put it in the smalt, we just leave it dry and after we will go to the oven and we will cook it. So this is the product that we have to cook. So I just have to create a structure like this. Then put the objects here. It has to be filled as you want. And uh, to close it like this. Okay, that's enough, we just need to cook it. This is the final product of colored clay. And this is the gompa of Mariga. And so, um, this is a mold already cooked one time, so it's hard. And then um, we have to color it. So this is the raw color. As you can see, it's like powders. You have to mix it with uh, some water and the colors became like that. This is a special type of pigments because they have to resist to for a high temp temperature of the oven that goes over 1000. And then you just have to free your fantasy. <laughs> light and shadows and then we have to put this mount and then we put it another time so here we are doing um, plastic resin uh, reliefs that after they are painted and installed on the walls or so some more sort of relief. And the first thing we do is a clay model. You do you model it in clay. Then you do a silicone mold. And then you pour inside the resin and you make this for example like this. Also that you do the absorb. Can do everything. Recently was used for all the Mako in the museum in Archidoso. All the decorations, the self room of the museum was all made with this. And then painted and art. You can use this technique for a lot of types of everything. It's really versatile. This is like that. And then paint. Colors. They are original made from smashed stone uh, gems. It's, I think, malachite. Like and then uh, you have to mix it with glue. In Tibet, they normally use uh, glue made from yak, but uh, here in Italy, we use glue made from rabbit. Then you have to mix it with uh, hot water, and it becomes like that, like uh, in a liquid form. And then you have to add it to the color. The quantity really depends on the color because each color is different. And then we start the process of making the color really, really smooth. You have to mix it like that, sometimes for hours. And when it's like that, you can start to paint. So these are the, uh, the paintings, I really finish it. We did it with the traditional panka colors, gold leaves and also precious stones. And we have two different types of, uh, of paintings. This one only shows the elements of the Tibetan astrology. The earth element, this color is yellow. And uh, here some traditional uh, Tibetan ornaments. And this is the other. A traditional the disposition of the elements in the space as Manjushri explained to us thousand years ago. And inside there is a personal element uh, that is not balanced, 
with the mantra of the long life. To do this type of paintings, uh, you have to not only be an artist, but uh, also to know Tibetan astrology. You have to know each of these uh, elements to do a proper balanced uh, painting. Uh, with this project, we try to, to recreate the, the relationship with, between art uh, and astrology. So we based on these books, Four Methods of Development, written by our master, when uh, everything is explained. If you integrate your vision with this type uh, of shapes and also of mantra, you can balance also your elements. So you can have a better life uh, with no problems, no obstacles. So this is the purpose of our project.